everyone in this video we will discuss how to edit the sitemap of a model driven app in dynamics 365 for example let me open sales hub model driven app so this is my sales hub model driven app in this sales hub model driven app i have a sitemap with me right for every model driven app there is a sitemap associated with it which shows in the left side panel so in the left side panel which is called a sitemap we can have three things one is area another is group another is sub area so in this shells hub app model driven app you can see these are the uh, areas okay and these are called as groups and inside that groups the options that are displaying are called as sub area sub area, uh, sub area may be pointing to an entity or it may be point, pointing to a dashboard or it may be pointing to a to an external url or uh, web resources like that okay so if i want to add a add a custom entity in my work okay this is a group uh, inside the sales area and inside the sales area i have a group called as my works and inside my works i have two sub areas one is dashboard and activities but i want to uh, display my custom entity called as student inside uh, the my work group so how to edit that right so for that we have to go to power apps and we have to go to apps option here and we have to search for the app name that you are going to edit as i want to edit sales hub app that's why i have to go to power apps and go to apps area and i will search for sales hub so this is the app which is intended to be edited for sitemap so i'll just click on the ellipse button and click on edit once we click edit the sitemap designer which is a proprietary designer by microsoft and here we can edit the sitemap right you can see the sitemap option is displaying at the top now we can click on the edit button that is displaying as a pencil icon click on this edit button and click ok because i don't want to save any changes right now now here you can see all the say all the areas uh, whereas it is sales uh, app settings sales inside settings help and support are displaying here at the top and inside that ev for every area there are groups associated with it and inside every group there are subgroups sub areas right my intention is to add a custom entity inside the my work group and after the activity activities sub area so i will just click this group and i will just go to components and i will just drag sub area inside the cells but if you feel difficult then you can just uh, escape this and you can click on this air icon and click on this cells you can just click on the group and click on the plus button add here click on sub area right once you click on sub area it will add a sub area uh, below the activity sub area now i can edit the uh, name of the sub area right first thing i have to associate this sub area to an entity or to a dashboard or anything so first i want to define what type of sub area is this for whether it is the, whether it is a dashboard or whether it is a entity web resource or url i want to associate with an entity so i will just select entity and i will select the target entity the target entity is student okay you can choose any uh, entity that you want but i have selected student if you don't want to uh, display students then you can just override the title here uh, by giving a new title here okay now i can just save it now once it is done we have to save and publish until unless you publish this sitemap it will not uh, work so we have to publish then we have to go to our sales hub model driven app and we will refresh the screen to see if the new sub area is added or not i am expecting an um, an icon here below the activity so let me refresh because the sitemap editing is already published so i am expecting the option here 
so I have just uh, refreshed the window if it is not working in the first refresh then you can just uh, click control shift R so that it will refresh completely with uh, deleting the cookies now once we do that uh, you can see the option is displaying here so this way we can edit the sitemap for a model driven app in Dynamics 365 and uh, if you click the, that new sub area then it is pointing to students entity I can create new students and uh, accordingly the accounts contacts leads these are all entities right so student entity is also a new entity that I can go for creating new records deleting records all that so the purpose of this video is to uh, show you how we can add a option add an option inside a group and uh, which is associated with the area so thank you for your time i uh, will see you in next video